So we're back. This is my um, screen. I'm going to share my screen in about a couple seconds. We're continuing with the long O sound. I want you to look at how it is represented phonetically. So you don't just worry about how it's written, although you do have to worry because you have to know how to spell it. You can't use the phonetic spelling. Uh, so let's, let me share the screen, share, and look. Here we have, you know this structure. You have the vowel O, I call it interrupted, but it's not interrupted. Between the vowel O, you have the M. The next letter is the M, that's a consonant. And then you have, I call it the famous E, the E. So this E tells you, it tells you how to pronounce the vowel that's before, uh, before the consonant. It tells you O, chrome. Notice the phonetic spelling, chrome, bone, tone. That's a very unusual word. Unusual, I shouldn't say unusual. You don't use it that much, but a tome is a book, but usually a book, a set of books. Toe. Oh, 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 oh. There, look, there's no uh, vowel between there. Mole. In Spanish, you would pronounce this mole, but in English, of course, you don't pronounce the last E. Pose, to pose. Phone, remember the PH, the PH has the F sound. And of course, there's the E going backwards in the consonant and then the O. Rose, rose can be, ooh, that can be the past tense of the verb to rise. It can also be the name of a flower. And if you capitalize it, it's the name of a person, of a, girl, of a, of a female. Usually females use it rather than males. To grope. It's to put your hands all over somebody and it's not wanted. He groped me. That means he put, touched her in places that were not appropriate. Or even if the, you know, if it's just the arm, if the person doesn't want to be touched. Whoa, woe is me. I'm so sad. Long, ah, long, sing long. Rope, be careful, this is not ropa and like in Spanish, this is rope. Roker, that's someone's last name, a very famous weatherman, and now he's more than just a weatherman, Al Roker. Nope, another way for saying no. Choke, you're choking, <gasps> that's the choke. Nose, as plain as the nose on your face. Clone, to make a double of, some, of someone, to make a clone of an animal. Joke, to play with someone and make a joke or say something funny. Home. In English, house and home are two different things. House is the, is the building and home is the building, but the feeling within that building. You can live in a house, but that doesn't make it a home. Foe, your enemy. Do, a deer. Or do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, da. It's on the scales, musical scales. Close. This is a homograph because C L O S E has two pronunciations. One when you pronounce the S like the S, close, and one when you pronounce the S like a Z, close. 
and also it's a it's a it's a homo a homophone, but depending on whether you pronounce it like an S or like the S like an S or the S like a Z, it gets complicated. Load chose the past tense of the verb to choose with a double O C H O O S E. Role the role you play on and um in an organization or the role that an actress plays in a movie or an actor plays. Spoke, the past tense of the verb to speak. Token, this has a lot of meanings. This is, it's a coin that you put inside when you're gonna take a transport, when you're gonna take a train or a bus, that's a token. And they also say token as a symbolic, like he's a token. He's the only person of his race or she's the only person of her gender, okay, or her sexual orientation. It's an insult. It's not a compliment. Tone. I don't like that tone that you're using with me. I don't like the way you're speaking with me or to me. Postpone. 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 Pope. Papa. Pope. The head of the Catholic Church. Whole, whole, you pronounce the H, but you don't pronounce the W. And it has two spellings. Well, this one is whole, this is complete. And then you can spell it without the W and it's a whole, a whole, something that you put something in, a whole. Oh, there it is, whole. Bloke, British English, we don't say bloke. I understand it. It's like a man. It's like a guy, that bloke over there. Pole, a light pole, for example. Okay, going a little bit long, so I don't know if I'm. I'm, I'm just going to do them now. Coleslaw, it's like a salad that you eat. Moses, name, dope. The kids use the word dope today that means it's good, but dope is usually medicine or a medication, like a dope addict. Joe, G.I. Joe, and a cup of Joe. When you say I want a cup of Joe, that means I want a cup of coffee. Broke, the past tense of the verb to break. Elope, to leave, to, instead of getting married, uh, let's say with your family in front of you, you and your to be, escape, well, not escape, run away, get married, and then come back home and say, hey, we're already married. Smoke, globe, global. Oh, no, that's a false cognate because global and global aren't the same thing. Hose, zone, for stall. Gore, you'll see in movies with a lot of blood and gore. Goes, the S is pronounced more like a Z rather than an S. Hopeful, full of hope. Quote, using someone's exact words. Load. And we're back to Chrome. Okay, so. This is the type of uh, structure that by now you're used to. Almost all vowels have this kind of structure. The vowel then interrupted, not interrupted, but um, divided from the other vowel by a consonant. And then you have the letter E, the vowel E. And the E makes the vowel um, before it long. So once again, Kerala Ficken, McLean, welcome.com. Hope you can subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to say goodbye and have a good day, a great day, fantastic day. Bye bye.